how about a mathematical perspective on why you're feeling stuck in your life? No matter what you do, things are just not improving. It's like something is holding you back. Let's have a look. Imagine all the possible lives that you could live from now on. So each dot here represents one of those infinitely many lives. And the ones at the top are the ones that are the happiest for you. And the bottom ones are the unhappiest ones. And let's assume your current life is somewhere here. This means, yeah, things could be worse but your life could also be much better. And what you want is you want to get above this threshold. You want to move your life here to one of the other lives that are further up. But something is holding you back. Your internal model about yourself and the world. This model represents all the beliefs that you have. And most beliefs are limiting beliefs. So each of those lines represent limiting beliefs. And a limiting belief is a belief that is not necessarily true. Anything we believe, we're going to experience as being true. So we better choose wisely what we believe. Limiting beliefs limit our search space. For example, let's assume we have the limiting belief that we are too old to change our career. This limiting belief is going to cut out a big portion of our search space. It will cut out all those lives where we would have changed career, where we would have been successful and unsuccessful. And so we have a lot of these limiting beliefs and they cut out big parts of our search space. These can be beliefs like it's unsafe to leave my relationship, it's unsafe to change my job. I need to work hard to make a lot of money. People just don't like the way I am. I have to work hard to be loved. And what we will see in the end is that what we are left with is quite a small space. And this space is often referred to as our comfort zone. This is the area that is actually available to us. And as you can see, you will most likely find out that you are already at the best possible place based on the limiting beliefs on the model that you have about yourself. Now you may ask, but what happens if I still jump out of that comfort zone? In the end, nothing is preventing me physically from doing any change, right? So what happens if, for instance, you might want to go up to a life like this? You probably have a yearning for it. You want to get there. But what will happen if you start to move towards that is that all the, fe the feelings that are associated with those limiting beliefs that are, pro that are preventing it are going to show up. So you're going to feel a lot of fear, shame, guilt, and that's going to stop you from moving out of your comfort zone. So what can you do? The best thing to do is to remove your limiting beliefs. So let's assume you remove this limiting belief. Then that also means that automatically some space in your search space is going to be freed up. And all of a sudden your comfort zone grows and you can reach a better life. So if you want to know how you can remove limiting beliefs, then check in for the next episode for more.